Blog Talk Radio. I said, remember working for a to children of Israel. Remember working for a to children of Israel. Just to Moses, go down there to freedom. Just to Moses, go down there to freedom. Psalm 82. Mismor pevet, mismor la sabor la sabor la sabor la sabor la sabor la sabor la sabor. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, the mighty, the mighty, the mighty, the mighty, the mighty. The mighty. The mighty. The mighty. The mighty. Elohim nitzav ba'adat el, 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 el. He judgeth among the gods, the gods, the gods, the gods, the gods. The God. Bekerev Elohim Yishkot. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. 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 For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, my name shall be great among the Gentiles. And in every place, incense shall be offered unto my name, and a pure offering. For my name... ...shall be great among the heathen, saith the Lord of hosts, saith the Lord of hosts, saith the Lord of hosts, saith the Lord of hosts. Yes, 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 Rato, Rato.
Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me. Lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. מזמור כ"ח לדוד. אליך אדוני אקרא, צורי אל תחרש ממני, אין תחשה ממני, ונמשלתי עם יורדבור. שמע כל תחנוני בשבעי אליך, בנושאי ידי אל דביר קודשך. אל תמשכני עם רשעים ועם פועלי אבן. דוברי שלום עם רעיהם ורעה בלבבם. תן להם כפפה עולם וכרוע מעלליהם כמעשה ידיהם תן להם. השב גמולם להם. כי לא יבינו אל פעולות אדוני. 
ואל מעשה ידיו יהרסם ולא ילמם. ברוך אדוני, כי שמע כל תחנוני. אדוני עוזי ומגיני, בו ותח ליבי ונעזרתי, ויעלוז ליבי ומשירי אחותנו. אדוני עוז לנו, ומעוז ישועות משיחוהו, הושיע את עמך, וברך את נחלתך, ורעם ונשאם עד העולם. מזמור כ"ח לדוד אליך אדוני אקרא 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 Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock, be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. 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 My advice to all advice to all advice to all advice to all is to fulfill the ten commandments fill 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 the ten commandments You are aware of the contents of the ten commandments of the ten and man elaborate on hand 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 elaborate If the nation for which I am the emperor follows and accepts this and accepts this Since it's also what I accept and follow, accept and follow, accept and follow, accept and follow, accept and follow. I would believe our country is not only historically Christian, historically Christian, historically Christian, historically Christian, historically Christian, but also actively Christian, actively Christian, actively Christian, actively Christian. Your Imperial Majesty is a mature Christian. Have you a special word for young people of these days? On this occasion, I address also all those within our empire. Our Christianity is not restricted to a given church, and I stress above all that we do not wish to make distinctions. My advice to all is to fulfill the Ten Commandments. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, man, right, come to the salvation for black African nation. Yes, black man and black man is strong. Now is the time to go. Find your love. Africa's creation. Now is the time to go. We won't be slaves by no other nation. The people will suffer if they does not tear. System their design is only to murder them. We need to help up each other. Yeah. Oh, do it already so we can do it again. There will suffer if they does not tear. Boom. System them design a murder them. Oh, we need to help up each other. Yeah. Oh. Everyone is searching to find a way out Aye. And closing the dungeon of darkness So where we only have our sources No one has any time for love Need a respect for the world Busy getting caught, doing our thoughts Trying to please the evil lost world We all coming out Who them are going to suffer if them not going to hear System them design is only for murder them Yes, we need to help up each other, yeah oh, Do it already so we can do it again They shall suffer if they do to tell Oh, 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 I don't to murder them Yes, we need to help up each other, yeah Every morning, they see themselves doing the same thing. Oh, oh. Until the dawning, they slave for our wealth. We can't do a thing. Mm. You know, we neglect the farming. The true and righteous way that we all should be living. Oh, take away them, get caught in. Colonial life of us, we are killing. And that's the teach you said, and run come put you away. Well, this your time, it is all right, yo, 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 yo. No matter where you say, me not go lay, lay. So, Babylon just stand for you. Because they shall suffer if they do to tell. Oh, this is still them design and murder them. Yes, we need to help out each other, yeah. How do we take this so we can do it again? Yes, them are going to suffer if them not go here. Oh, this is still Babylon design and murder Sabbatical study, this I and I Rastafari sabbatical study for this Shabbat strong. Shabbat strong. Shabbat. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean, 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 shall she be unclean. And the Yahweh, Yahweh, he who be who he be, spake to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a man child, then she shall be unclean seven days according to the days of the separation for her infirmity. Shall she be unclean? Here we have Leviticus chapter 12, a holy, an Isla set apart, true good, true God, and a holy, an Isla, a set apart people. Second item here, 
the law of motherhood. Rephrase. The Torah, direction, instruction of the mothership, of the matrix, 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 matrix. matrix. And Yahweh spake to Moses, saying, Daber illa b'nei Israel lemor. Speak to the b'nei, the sons, the children of Israel lemor, saying, Isha ki tazria. If for when. Isha, a woman, Isha, a woman, ki, if, when, tazaria, tazaria, if, when, a woman has conceived, see, 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 with yalda, zakar, with yalda, zakar, and born a zakar, a male, a man, child. With Yalda Zakar, with Tama Shibata Yamin. Then she shall be unclean seven days. Ki me nigata dota. Titama. 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 According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, shall she be unclean. And. Verse 3, and in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised, and she shall then continue in the blood, Hadam, of her purifying three and thirty days. She shall touch no hollow set apart thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she be a maid child, a woman child, a female, Nikeva, then she shall be unclean two weeks as in her separation, and she shall continue in Hadam, the blood of her purifying, three score and six days, sixty-six days. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled for a son or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, and a young pigeon, yonna, or a turtle dove for a chatat, a sin offering, to the patach, the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, the ohel moed, the tent of meeting. To Hakohen, to the priest, who shall offer it Lifne Yahuwah before the Yahweh and make an atonement for her, and she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the law, Ha Torah, the direction and instruction for her that have born a male or a female, a Zakar. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles or two young pigeons, the one for a burnt offering, an orla, and the other for a chatat, a sin, black offering. And Hakohen, the priest, shall make an atonement for her, and she shall be clean, be clean, be clean, be clean. Third book of Moshe, Hebrew book called Leviticus, chapter 13. A holy, true good, true God, Elohim, an Isla, Elohim, and an Isla, holy, set apart people. Third item, leprosy or skin disease, a type of chadiat, a type of sin. As in Romans chapter 6, verses 12 to 14, and John chapter 1, verse 8, as a point of reference. Here, 
third book of Moses, Hebrew book called Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 13. And the Yahweh spake to Moshe and Aharon, Lamor, saying, When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, or bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh, like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought to Aharon HaKohen, Aaron the priest, or to one of his sons, HaKohanim the priest. And HaKohen the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh, and when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. The priest, HaKohen, the Kahin, shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then HaKohen, the priest, the Kahin, shall shut up him that hath the plague seven days. And HaKohen, the priest, the Kahin, shall look on him the seventh day, and he nay, behold, no, if the plague in his sight be at a stay, and the plague spread not in the skin, then HaKohen, the priest, the Kahin, shall shut him up seven days more. For my next number, I'd like to reach. I'm going to testify. For my next number, I'd like to return to the classics.
my next number, I'd like to return to the classics. Third book of Moshe, Hebrew book called Leviticus, chapter 13. A holy, true good, true God, Elohim, an Isla, Elohim, and an Isla, holy, set apart people. Third item, leprosy or skin disease, a type of chat a type of sin. As in Romans chapter 6 verses 12 to 14 and John chapter 1 verse 8 as the point of reference. Here, third book of Moses, Hebrew book called Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 13. And the Yahweh spake to Moshe and Aharon, Lamor, saying, When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, or bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh, like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought to Aharon HaKohen, Aaron, the priest, or to one of his sons. HaKohanin, the priest, and HaKohen, the priest, shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. The priest, HaKohen, the Kohen, shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hear thereof be not turned white, then HaKohen, the priest, the Kahan shall shut up him that hath the plague seven days. And HaKohen, the priest, the Kahan, shall look on him the seventh day, and he may behold, no, if the plague in his sight be at a stay, and the plague spread not in the skin, then HaKohen, the priest, the Kahan, shall shut him up seven days more. And here, at this uh, sixth verse, we have the second Aliyah, the second Anaphora or Aliyah here for this Torah portion reading and feeding, Tazria, for the Shabbat, Tazria, the Shem, the Shem, Wira, Hakohen, Otoa, Bayoma, Hashid, Iya, Shemit, Wihine, Keha, Ha Nega, Wilo, Fasa, Ha Nega, Be Or, Will, Kia, Ha Roa, Ha Kohena, Nisa, Pahat, He, Will, Kia, Base, Be, Badayo, Will, Ahera, Hera, Hera. The priest shall look on him again the seventh day. And behold, if the plague be somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in the skin, the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is but a scab, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean, and be clean, and be clean, and be clean. Here for the second Aliyah, Aliyah Sheni, picking up at verse 6, Leviticus 13 and 6, the Sheni. And HaKohen, the priest, the Kohen, shall look on him again the seventh day, and he nay, look, see, here it is, and that, oh, if the plague be somewhat dark, the plague spread not in the skin, HaKohen, the priest, the Kohen, shall pronounce him clean. It is but a scab, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean, but... 
if the scab spread much abroad in the skin, after that he hath been seen of Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin, for his cleansing, he shall be seen of Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin, again. And if Hakohain, the Kahin, the priest, see that he nag, look, sight, here it is, the scab spread up in the skin, then Hakohain. The priest, the kind, shall pronounce him unclean. It is a leprosy. When the plague of leprosy is in a man, then he shall be brought to Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin. And Hakohain shall see him. And he nay, looks like here it is, it's the rising feet, white in the skin. And it have turned the hair white, and there be quick, raw flesh in the rising. It is an old leprosy in the skin of his flesh. And Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin, shall pronounce him unclean and shall not shut him up for he is unclean and if a leprosy break out abroad in the skin and the leprosy cover all the skin of him that hath the plague from his head even to his foot wheresoever Hakohain the priest the Kahin looketh then Hakohain shall consider, and he nay look sight. No, here it is. If the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean. That hath the plague. It is all turned white. He is clean. But when raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. And Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin, shall see the raw flesh and pronounce him to be unclean. For the raw flesh is unclean. It is a leprosy. Or if the raw flesh turn again and be changed to white, he shall come to Hakohain. And Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin, shall see him. And he may, look, see, here it is in that bowl. If the plague be turned into white, then Hakohain shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. He is clean. And here we're at the third, the third aliyah, the third aliyah for Shabbat Riyah. The Shalishi, the Shalishi, Shalishi, third aliyah, picking up with verse 18. U basad, kia yithye, boa be oro, shirachina we nirata, ba, ba, ba. The flesh also in which even in the skin thereof was a boil, and is healed, and is healed, and is healed, and is healed, and is healed. Picking up here at verse 18 for the Shalishi, the third Aliyah, Leviticus 13, verse 18. The flesh also, in which even, in the skin thereof, was a boil, and is healed. And in the place of the boil, there be a white rising, or a bright spot, white, or somewhat reddish, and it be shewed to Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin. And if when the Kahin seeth it, hine, 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 behold, it be in sight lower than the skin, and the hair thereof be turned white, Hakohain, the Kahin. The priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague of leprosy broken out of the boil. But if the Kahin look on it, and he may, oh, look, see, here it is. There be no white hairs therein, and if it be not lower than the skin, but be somewhat dark, then Hakohain, the priest, the Kahin, shall shut him up seven days. 
And if it spread much abroad in the skin, then the Kahin shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague. But if the bright spot stay in his place and spread not, it is a burning boil. And Hakohain, the Kahin, the priest, shall pronounce him clean, 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 clean. saying, When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scab, or bright spot, and it be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought unto Aaron the priest, or unto one of his sons the priests. And the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh. And when the hair in the plague is turned white, and the plague in sight be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. And the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in sight be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut up him that hath the plague seven days. And the priest shall look on him the seventh day, and behold, if the plague in his sight be at a stay, and the plague spread not in the skin, then the priest shall shut him up seven days more. And the priest shall look on him again the seventh day. And behold, if the plague be somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in the skin, the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is but a scab, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. But if the scab spread much abroad in the skin, after that he hath been seen of the priest for his cleansing, he shall be seen of the priest again. And if the priest see that, behold, the scab spreadeth in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a leprosy. When the plague of leprosy is in a man, then he shall be brought unto the priest, and the priest shall see him. And behold, if the rising be white in the skin, and it have turned the hair white, and there be quick raw flesh in the rising, it is an old leprosy in the skin of his flesh, and the priest shall pronounce him unclean, and shall not shut him up, for he is unclean. And if a leprosy break out abroad in the skin, and the leprosy cover all the skin of him that hath the plague, from his head even to his foot, wheresoever the priest looketh, then the priest shall consider. And behold, if the leprosy have covered all his flesh, he shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. It is all turned white. He is clean. But when raw flesh appeareth in him, he shall be unclean. And the priest shall see the raw flesh and pronounce him to be unclean. For the raw flesh is unclean. It is a leprosy. Or if the raw flesh turn again and be changed unto white, he shall come unto the priest. And the priest shall see him. And behold, if the plague be turned into white, then the priest shall pronounce him clean that hath the plague. He is clean. The flesh also in which even in the skin thereof was a boil and is healed. And in the place of the boil there be a white rising, or a bright spot, white and somewhat reddish, will be showed to the priest. And if when the priest seeth it, behold, it be in sight lower than the skin, and the hair thereof be turned white, the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague of leprosy broken out of the boil. But if the priest look on it, and behold, there be no white hairs therein, and if it be not lower than the skin, but be somewhat dark, then the priest shall shut him up seven days. And if it spreads much abroad in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague. But if the bright spot stay in his place and spread not, it is a burning boil, and the priest shall pronounce him clean.
know when to a dance or current dance. They are a big fat thing named Pam. But as we read at the dance gate, the gate man a hold on for me woman hand. One box me give me nine blasted bass. Money scatter out all over the place. Babylon bust me with a big curtsy. Hear me now, say. Let go me hand gate man, let me come in. Let go me hand gate man, let me come in. You see from down the cellar when me live on top in. Like a shovel mouth shop, put me neck on a block and even chop it up. Put it in a wheelbarrow, fling it down a walk. Me drop it, come back and it's still a laugh. Let go me and get one of me come in. Let go me and get one of me come in. Let go me and get one of me come in. You know what, man? I used to have some of those men. Me take it. Dungo, dungo, go, dungo, then. Dungo, dungo, go, dungo, then. Say if you have a paper, you must have a pen. And if you have a start, you must have a end. Say five plus five is equal to ten. And if you have both, you put them in a pen. And if you have a rooster, you must have a end. Now, dungo, dungo, go, dungo, then. Dungo, dungo, go, dungo, then. Jumpy happiness and jumpy joy. You know be call yellow man no boy Lady and they used to take me tire Where they love them call him child You know be call yellow man no boy You know be call John John no boy You know be take a high and high be boy Dungo dungo go dungo then Watch it Dungo dungo go dungo then Catch it Dungo dungo go dungo then Car Zero zero one one nine Call yellow man make you feel me chat a me lyric, me chat him in a rhyme Me na eat like me full up a rhyme Cause yellow man him na commit no crime car Zungo, zungo, go, zungo, then Zungo, zungo, go, zungo, then Okay, shout out to the praise down to the most high Because the motion made the clothes that pertains unto a man Because all these things are abomination to the Lord God Yeah Cause every day the girls dress up in a trousers I say what happened to your skirts and blouses Why can't I man see you in your dresses Cause these things I'm to judge and all pleases And every day them a worship vanities And your greatest love is jewelry Mind ya lick you with it's easy hey. Mind ya lick you with it's easy wow. hey, yeah. The most dangerous is easy I say the most dangerous is easy I'm talking like the elephant Cause every day that's a turning Bible pages From Proverbs forward to Genesis From Revelation to Ecclesiastes So let me tell you, say me wisdom in the And the love of the world it decreases While every day man a bill exploses The corruption of the world it exposes Mind your liquid with diseases hey, Mind your liquid with diseases I said him out We beat again, Lord. We beat again, hey. The Colonel bomb and him be your gate man. You come for a trial with a different fashion style. That you know the gate man busy style. That you know the gate man busy hungry. Land make him collect money hungry. Land make him count enough money. Hey, five dollar, ten dollar, and twenty. Hey, say what the cop a forget to pick me. Call Papa Tai and the DJ that be style. Land you know the gate man busy style. Land you know the gate man busy. We have more water than flour. Say that we have more water than flour The greatest liar that a bag of wire Say first time dread them you so call them liar If the dread he poke you hear them shout out fire Right in for Stiley Lad you know the gate man busy Stiley Lad you know the gate man busy Hungry Lad make him collect money Hungry Lad make him count enough money Hey Five dollar, ten dollar and twenty Hey Can't put the cap on if you get to pick me Call Papa I'm the DJ daddy, hey Say Papa Tyon in a category Tiny, let you know the gate man busy Tiny, let you know the gate man busy Now this is a 
State of the Union Address to those of the musical interest. From the Minister of Argument and Reasoning, Right Honorable Mr. Shinez, O.M. Rough and rugged, we come in rough and rugged. To me foundation, the pants are the with. Rough and rugged, me come in rough and rugged. To me foundation, the pants are the Long time I'm on a watch and for after a long time I've waited. Main time and between time, no the things I have created. In a the lyrics, laboratory, that's where I experimented. But before the final product come around, it's gotta be tested. Then and only then will I approve and be contented. Why? Because the public is extremely educated. Well, that is one of the reasons why me get sophisticated. Cause some people are picky while some folks are open-minded and some of them are also pleased and very complicated but one way or another everybody should be respected cause rough and rugged we come in rough and rugged feel me foundation deep and sally we with rough and rugged i'm coming rough and rugged feel me foundation deep and solid now before i say what i have to say is thoroughly contemplated any mistake that I should make immediately corrected Cause in a this year business I am totally devoted Time and energy was invested so that it could be perfected And by that I was anointed, that is why I'm motivated No man from the land can stop it cause it must be manifested Carefully selected, very keenly designated Grammatically perfect, every word is properly stated You hear it back a million times but still you can't believe it Just like an electric circuit with the voltage overloaded Zoom! Rough and rugged, we come in rough and rugged to be foundation, deep and sally we win. Rough and rugged, we come in rough and rugged. To be foundation, deep and sally. Ticka ticka tock, ticka ticka tock, my golden head. My golden head. Ticka ticka tock, my golden head. Ticka ticka tock, my golden head. She lay next for the gentleman. Sometime nine. And sometimes ten, 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 oh, and whenever she lay, she make an alarm. La, 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 she wake up this morning, she no eat no breakfast She leave out my home and she faint in the past She give my neighborhood a lot to remember Lots to remember She give them lots to remember Lots to remember It was not my fault When she faint in the past Lord God knows Hey little girl, don't be Like a rolling cow Oh, before the wind you're gonna be like a shaft if you leave like a rolling cap, no Don't leave like a rolling cap, no Tika taka tak my golden name She lay next for the gentleman Sometime nine and sometime ten Whoa Sabbatical study. This I and I Rastafari sabbatical study for this. Sh- about being a symbol of life, 
Shabbat Shalom. Send back Shalom. We've asked a question about the Nida in this Torah portion of SS number 27. Ki Kazria de Taregis. If a woman, she conceives the seed. All right, and the, the question, let's get this right here and share this as a, kind of a part of the first words on this Torah portion. I am to be shared here on the air and in the iris. So it was on the Nida. And I'm sure that some of the sisters or daughters might have also heard us reasoning from the Fifth Hanegas um, concerning the Nida and that separation, speaking about the separation both at the time during the monthly, the moon, the, you know, the days of menstruation or of um, blood flow, blood being a symbol of life, and also uh, during the afterbirth time, right, the after the birth time. So um, the question about the nida, the woman's nida, right, and nida is spelled N-I-D-D-A-H, or that separation, menstruation, separation. And when we're speaking on the topic, when we say about a woman, and we're speaking from the fits and the guests, what we can call the Apostles' Doctrine or the Canon, the fits and the guests of the Law of Kings, um, where we said that a woman wasn't supposed to enter the church or the, the Holy Assembly, you know, into the church and the New Covenant under the New Law based on the Old Testament and based on Leviticus chapter 12, right? And something like that. And we act, we're asked, is that the same as for like, going to a concert or a gathering? Well, the Nida, right? And just to touch on this about the assembly or concert. Well, the key is it's about Adosh or Kedus. Kedus, that is the holy or more correctly set apart, right? An assembly or a concert necessarily doesn't always fit your bill, right? So uh, just a regular assembly or a concert, you know, doesn't fit the bill, so to speak. Now, Leviticus chapter 12, verse 4 says, And she, the woman, right, shall then continue in her blood of purifying, that blood of purifying, the time of the purifying, three and thirty days, and she shall touch no hollow thing. Now, in the KJV, the King James Targum, or well, the King James uh, translation interpretation, it uses the phrase no hallowed thing. Now when we go into the Hebrew, we have the kadosh. The kadosh, or the kadosh, means that which is set apart, right? So it says, she shall touch no hollow thing. Now this is referring to the tabernacle, the tabernacle precincts, and the courtyard. Of course, speaking in terms of the of the the tabernacle, or the ohel, the tent of the assembly, and the holy precincts, right? And when we look at the Ethiopian, we see it's based on that pattern of the Hebrews. The fifth and the guest, the law of kings, also brings that very, that point very clear. For example, we were referring to um, fifth and the guest, part one, chapter 24, section 511, on the general section we throw through. Dowry, marriage, and what follows, and was in section five, definition of marriage and matters concerning. And that quote, that reference that we had made on the air in the upper room, the mm-hmm. Rastafari upper room of Zion. So, in looking at Leviticus chapter 12, verse 4, according to the old law, it says, She shall touch no kadosh, nothing that is holy. Now, what is holy is referring to in the tabernacle, the Old Testament sense, which would be the church, right, the church. We're talking about that sacred space for that whole community. Nor come into the sanctuary, the mikdash, or the mekdes, the sanctuary. So the hollow thing, everything within the, within the, um, the tabernacle, when you go through the gates, right, everything, the outer court as well as the tent. The tent would be like the church, symbolic of the church. Right until the days of her purifying, the purifying of the blood, right, be fulfilled. So hallowed equals the holy or the kadosh, or that which is set apart. The sanctuary is the tabernacle, the sanctuary that we find in Leviticus 12 and 4, or the true church. Right. So we use the 
Ethiopian sanctuary as that example in the new of the new law, and based on the principle, are ye not as the children of Ethiopian as me or children of Israel? But it all depends on the type of assembly. Just to address again the idea of assembly or the concert as well. And thinking about this, we, you know, in the spirit, his spirit testifying our spirit. But it's not what we think is holy. This is a very important point. Not what we consider holy, because one can say, well. Does that mean a woman during that time can't read the Bible? No. See, the the scripture in the church or the tabernacle, because it it represents the whole community. See, when we're under the new law, so we have to recognize it's not what we consider holy or as holy, but what he says is holy. Right? So remembering that the Old Testament as its type, as an object lesson. Now, what we would recommend is that a woman avoid stress and as much as possible and strain or strenuous activity. Um, for example, no woman, right, should or properly in a physical sense comes into the Nyabingi gathering or the assembly to chant Isis during this time of her of her Nida, right, or the Margam, the time of the blood flow. The Nyabingi for us is a perfect example of the church and the tabernacle type of I and I gathering or assembly which is properly termed kadosh, or the assembly, that is kedus, that is uh, that is set apart, right? That is set apart. Now, we was asked by one sister, oh, this means no dancing. Well, we said no dancing. Well, we didn't read about that. I guess it all deep ends on the kind of dancing. But just as a point of principle, I thought it was a very interesting and a good question about does that mean, you know, concerts or activities, what sort of activities. Let's remember what the what the tabernacle was for Kol Yisrael, for Kol Yisrael, for Israel Hulu, for the whole community. It's like if we were to have, say, a church, a particular place, we gather together, and that is like the consecrated, we could say, spot for the, not just for one individual, but you might have your, you know, a woman, especially in the new law, of course, it's very recommendable, advisable to stay within in that separated time in Jah word, right? Because we are under grace. And the law came through Moses, right? Mashu, Moshe, but grace and truth. So there's still an application of this, especially concerning the communal, that physical space, right? But in grace, on the ear and in the irid, so forth and so on. Plus, because of, you know, we live in the mart and one can be discreet, as it were. But as far as the particular place that is termed the church, see, there's a lot of places called church. And then there's also two or three of us gathered together. For example, the woman, say, within the Beta Israel, Falasha type of community that we read about in Falasha anthology, translated from Ethiopic sources with the introduction by Wolf Leslaw, we went to that point of reference and it made mention about two special huts you know and it also gives a kind of an overview of that particular pattern and what's interesting is looking in the Beta Israel Falash anthology and comparing the, what we find written here with the Fitanagas and then seeing that all of that is based upon Torah what we have here in Leviticus especially in key Tazria de Tareges, if she, if a woman conceives she. In fact, the part that is considered the Nida or the maybe impure part, the Tame part, is not so much the woman carrying that seed. That's the holy time. But it's when that blood, you have to recognize what blood and the plasma field truly is, that blood, and how the blood that was there in the amniotic sac was part of the process of bringing the life to this particular point, to that particular point, and then the cleansing, right? The cleansing, this set apart period is so very important. We recognize that it's not fully even be able to fulfill and a lot of the woman diseases is because of the BS or the Babylon shitstem and the Babylon society. So this is also another reason to chant down Babylon and we as the sons must do all in our power to hedge about for the sisters because they're not able to have that fullness and how it affects woman's health, for example. But hopefully this will be a good kind of an overview on what is meant by the church or the holy place within his grace. Amen. Amen. Shalom. 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 Shalom.
Bless be up, Ubu, Manfat, Badu, Adu, Amla, Aman. Princess has come out of Egypt. Ethiopians now stretches forth their hands unto God. O God of Ethiopia, our Divine Majesty, Thy Spirit has come into our heart to dwell in the path of righteousness leads us. Help us to forgive that we must be forgiven. Teach us love, loyalty, and earth as it is in Zion. Endure us with thy wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do thy will. Thy blessing to you, that the hungry be fed, the naked be clothed, the sick nourish, the aged protected, and the infant cared for. Deliver us from the hands of our enemies that we may prove fruitful in these last days. When our enemies are past and decay in the depths of the sea in the depths of the earth or in the bowels of a beast. Oh, give us all a place in thy kingdom forever. Sila. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Jah, thou art the strength and our Redeemer that liveth and reigneth in the heart of man. study this and I Rastafari sabbatical study for this Shabbat strong about 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 hey mama I mama for my mama for mama to cry don't give me my blood so I Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. Give you all my love, oh yeah. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. It's my words and my story. Mama, I will never let you down. I'll never go away. I'll always be your 
always be around. You know why you do it, such love that you found. I'm always gonna let you wear that crown. Through the roughest of time, you maintain your calm towards your only yet. Why sheltering me from the storm? And when it's cold around, you know, it's always so warm. Oh my, oh my. I'm so glad I was born. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. Give you all my love, oh yeah. Well, thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. It's my word. I'm gonna make you so proud, so good, so you are. You're the one who teaches me all the good from the bad. Even when the system keeps pressuring my dad, you got I hope. Thanks be unto the most I got. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. Give you all my love for you. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through. All those pain and suffering All my vision, aspiration I owe it all up to you It's my words and my offering I'm a big man now That's how things go Things to do to survive Only die, no Fairly protecting us While watching us grow You've been up Even when it's on the down low Work so hard To see your soldiers do Listers on your fingers So they can't take us for food I'm here for a purpose, I'm here to you, but I just, that's the far I will see you through. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through, all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. Thank you, Mama, for the nine months you carried me through, all those pain and suffering. No one knows the pressure you bear, just only you. Oh. You know it's my turn to make life. I'm so much young, you know I've got my kids and my wife. And I'm positive and sure I'm doing fine. And still we can do so much more. But prepare me for the future, my love. You deserve keep doing your thing while others not knowing. So deep inside your heart, mama, you know where we was going. And a mother lose her tender care for her child that she be showing. Come on, your star, you glow. Thank you, mama, for the nine months you carried me through. All those pain and suffering. Here we have today's daily song. We have song. Psalm 28. David. Elecha Adonai Ekra 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 Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me. Lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. 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 Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem, 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 Hashem. Bless be the name, the name, the name, the name, the name, the name. Baruch Hashem, 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 Hashem.
Mizmor Kaf Chay. Psalm XXVIII. Today's daily psalm, according to the Royal Order of Ethiopian Hebrews, is Psalm 28 from the Sefer Tehillim. What we have here is a prayer and thanksgiving. Mizmor Kaf Chay. Mizmor Kaf Chay. Some would say Mizmor Kaf Chay. Still another Mizmor, a psalm, a chant, an intonation from the Sefer Tehillim, produced in one of the episodes of a stormy life. Some commentators refer it to the time of Absalom's rebellion, which forms a suitable setting for the first half. The remainder would then have been added when the crisis when the crisis was over. Today's daily psalm, according to the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, and after the order of Malachias Erek, Malachias Erek, Melchizedek, the righteous king, even the king of kings, Gormawi, Karmawi, Haile Selassie, we have today's daily psalm, a prayer, and thanksgiving. Mizmor Kaf Chei, Psalm 28. Le Dawid of David. Le Dawid. First verse, the Aleph verse, Eleka Yahuwah, Ekra, Suri, Ale Techrash Mimeni, Pena Techese Mimeni, Uonima Shalti, Im Yor Devor, To the I, 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 O Hashem, He who be who He be, do I call Eleka Yahuwah. Ekra leka Adonai Ekra Sori Ale Techrash Mimeni Tena Techese Mimeni U Nima Shalti Im Your Day Or My Rock Sori Be not thou deaf to me Lest if thou be silent to me I become like them that go down into the pit Eleka Yawa Ekra Sorry, Allah te chrash mi meni, pena te chese mi meni, we nim shalti a im your day bor, im your day bor, I become less if thou be silent to me, pen te chese mi meni, I become like them that go down into the pit. The nim shalti, we nim shalti, im your day bor. You are devor, you are devor, lest I become like them that go down, that go down to the pit. Today's daily psalm, according to the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, we have a prayer. There's two parts in today's daily psalm. The opening part is the prayer. We have the opening prayer and then the closing thanksgiving. So here we have the opening of the prayer. Eleka. Eleka Adonai, Eleka Yahweh, Eleka Adonai, Ekra, 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 do I call, Ekra, Suri, my rock, I call to the eye, KJV reads it as to the eye, I will cry, this cry, the Ekra, 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 the Ekra, the Ekra is a shout, a calling out. To the eye, the sorry, the sorry, even when I and I, cha, a call out to he who be who he be, eleka yawa, ekra, the sorry, aletech rash mimeni, be not silent to me, be not aletech rash mimeni, be not silent to me, the, the rock, sorry, the sore, the zor, the sore, sorry, we also have this in Psalm 18. Round about verse 3, verse 2, verse 3 of Psalm 18, the rock, the rock, to the eye will I cry out, will I cry aloud, will I call out, Yahweh, Yahweh, Jah, my rock, Suri, al techrash mimeni, pen, less, techese, techese mimeni, lest, if, Thou be silent to me. Now, if you know in the KJV, the if there is italicized. So the idea, lest thou be silent to me. Pen te chese, te chese mimeni. 
If you be silent from me, the idea me mani, me mani. We had this with Sur Al Techrash me mani. Al Techrash Al Techrash Suri Suri my rock. Speaking to he who be who he be, Suri, my Sur, my Zor, my Sur, Suri, Suri, Al Techrash me mani. Don't be silent me mani from me. Don't be silent to me. Al Techrash me mani. Sorry, al techerash mimeni. Pen, less. Techese mimeni. Techese mimeni. Less. Unless, if. It has a sense of if, but less. If you be silent to me, I become like them. I be like them. I be like. What would it be like for me? I will be like them. All of them that go down into the pit if the I be silent to I. With Nim Shalti, I am your day, Bor. The idea also is brought out in this Ale verse of be not deaf. In other words, the silence, being silent to understand and to get a better understanding for the meditation, silent prayer, be still and knowing, and the gnosis, be still and gnosis, is being deaf. The Hebrew brings out more of the sense of being deaf. To I, al techrash, techrash mimeni, al techrash mimeni. Don't be deaf to I. As in the English phrase, turn a deaf ear. So there's the English phrase of don't turn a deaf ear. The deaf ear, you turn a deaf ear to someone. So here, Dawid, David is saying, don't turn a deaf ear to I. And I and I are saying, don't turn a deaf ear to I and I. Less if thou be silent, less thou being silent, if you turn a deaf ear to I, if you are irresponsive, if there's no response to my appeal, to my ekra, to my calling out, eleka, eleka, Adonai, eleka, Yahweh, ekra, suri, calling out to suri, to I and I sur, I and I sur, I and I rock. I become like them that go down into the pit with Nim Shalti Aim your day. I will resemble, I will be like. What would it be like for me? I will be a type. I will be as a simile, as an allegory, as that type of one with Nim Shalti. With Nim Shalti Vanim Shalti, some would say Vanim Shalti with Nim Shalti. With Nim Shalti I will be like Aim your day with those your day with those Aim your day. I will be with those who your day who descend who go down. In your day, bor. In your day, bor. In your day, bor. In your day, bor. To the bor. To the bor. What's the bor? The bor is the pit, signifying in the context the grave or the anti repatriation. They would go to the pit. Go to the pit. Elohim's silence, Jah's silence, Hashem's silence would mean that he was in disfavor. He had no favor. He was out of grace. With him, and then, although living, although he is living, he would be as though dead. He would be as the living dead. So the pit here is not just the literal pit of the grave. That's like one might say the ultimate destination. But even while living, he was in the pit, in the in that nightmare state of heart and mind. His perception, the perception to perceive or not to perceive the presence, he would be out of favor. All right, he will be out of the presence, out of the perception, and thus in the pit, and like those who go down to the pit, to the grave. Now, this line is repeated. We have this line repeated in Psalm, in Psalm 143. We have this here, 143. Let's just go to Psalm 143, because Tehillim, the Psalms, Tehillim and praises is something you do, but it's also something you prepare to do. All right, and there's the study to shoot I and I self the proof, right? Even before the riding up in the song, it's like a musician would study a piece of music and in studying that piece of music would seek to ascertain, well, what is this about? What is the thought, the heart, the mind, the context of this one? That now I'm this will be my avatar. Just use that expression just very basically. Very basically with no accessories or strings attached to it. You know what I'm saying? But putting that on, right? And putting that in, in heart and mind. Right? So here we have Psalm 143. It says verse 
We have right here verse 7, hear me speedily. Hear me speedily, 143 and 7, O Lord. My spirit faileth, hide not thy face, thy face, thy presence, thy perception, thy perspective from me, lest I be like them that go down into the pit. So we have this in Psalm 143 and 7, this idea. And this is echoed in the exquisite couplet of Yehuda. Yehuda Halevi, Jehuda, Yehuda Halevi, when far from thee, I die while yet in life. But if I cling to thee, I, I live, though I should die, because I live children. Yeah. So this hope, this expectation, checking I and I state of mind, our state of heart and mind, our soul, and even giving our soul instruction because the soul without instruction is headed for the pit for that self-destruction all right so coming up and out so we have the first verse right here the first two verses they form the introductory appeal how do you plead or what are, what is your appeal what is your petition bringing this petition in spirit and in truth the first verse the first verse right here in today's daily psalm the kaf hey the 28th psalm and now to the bait Aleph Beit, the second verse, Shema, 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 hear, Shema, a command to hear, be in the hearing, Shema, Kol, Tachinunai, 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 Ma Tachinunai, Tachanan, Tachananai, Tachinunai, Tachinunai, my supplications, hear the voice of my supplication, Shema, Kol, Tachinunai, hear the voice, the call. Like the, the sound, the word, there's the word, right? The word, what is the matter? What's the matter? What's the word? And there's the sound. Here he's speaking in the bait verse of the sound, Shema, Shema, Shema call. So the word Shema, in this sense, the Shema is directed to Hashem, is directed to Jah, is directed to Suri, the Sur, rock, my rock, I and I rock, to he who be who he be, Shema, hear, hear, be in the hearing, Shema. Shema kol, tachinunai, tachinunai. Hear the voice of tachinunai, tachinunai, the tachinunai, tachinunai. Some would say tachinunai, tachinunai, of my supplications. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, even the daughter of my disperse. Right, my suppliants, the suppliants, the supplications, bringing that offering. Hear the voice of my supplications. Bit shawai, bit shawai, eleka. Bit shawai, some say bit shawai, eleka. Bit shawai, when, when I, when I cry to the I. Now, here's what's interesting, that in the KJV, in the Aleph, the first verse, it says, to the I will I cry. Here we have in the Hebrew, eleka. Adonai, ekra, 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 kara, to call, to call out, ekra, kara. And here we have shawai, shawai, or shawai, 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 shawai. What is shawai, shawai? Here we have cry as well being trans, translated, it's being translated here also as cry, right? But this cry is from a very interesting word, uh, shawa, 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 shava. Some say shava, shawa. It's the shout, 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 shout. So we have the word shawa, 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 right? Shawa. Some might say shava, shava. Some uh, Hebrew Jehudi, Jidi might say shava, right? And they would say be shavai, shavai, because of their particular speech, speech and, you know, inflection. But according to the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, the more better and the truer ancient enunciation, be shawai, be shawai, shawai, according to the afro shemitic be shawai. So we have shawa. Right, shawa, right, shava, shawa, shawa, shout. So you get the you get the words out. Shaw, shaw, right. Be shawa e in my shouting. Be shawa e, shawa e. Eleka, eleka to the eleka, the ka to the eye, ka to the eye. Male, he who be who he be. Be shawa e, ekra, slika. Be shawa e, eleka, eleka. Still thinking about the ekra, but ekra. 
We had this in the first verse. But now, what's interesting about the word for shout or cry, as it's translated in the KJV, bishawai, and we have shawa, shout, shout, right? The shout, the crying out, the crying out for help. So it's a, what kind of a shawa, right? Shawa, shawa is it? Shava, shawa, what kind of a shout is it? It's a cry for help. Now, the Strong's definition gives us this, that it's a primitive root properly to be free, but used only causatively and reflexively, and it says to halu, to halu. Right? Is that like a hullabaloo? You're making a hullabaloo? Like you shouting out, you're making a, like a noise in a sense? Halu to halu for help. That is freedom or freeness, we would say, from some trouble, some kind of trouble. So in the context of when it says cry, so when you come across the word cry, often translated in different parts of the scripture, especially in the KJV, please ask the question, all right, to our Father and Spirit and in truth and for the Holy Spirit to give light, what sort of a cry is it? What sort of a cry is it? See, sometimes we might think that when we come across a cry, for example, in the first verse and the second verse, it's the same cry. And it's not the same cry. Right? It's not the same cry. For example, the ekra in the first verse, right? The H7121 from the kara, right? Kara means to call out, to call out, to recite. Right? When we chant or recite the Psalms, in the, whether the Masoretic Hebrew or the Royal Amharic or the Ethiopic, when, even the English, right? in the Iorik, when we recite, we are calling out, reciting to read. Kara, right? Kara'a, kara'a, right? To read, to recite, to cry out in that sense, right? To cry out in reading and reciting or calling out, to proclaim. Right? In the sense to call to, to cry in the sense of uttering a loud sound, but it also takes on the context of to read aloud and to read also to oneself. So the context of kara is to, can be to read to oneself, to summon or to invite someone, to call someone, to call and to commission, to appoint someone, to call and endow someone, to call and to name someone too. The kara. So kara has some interesting usages, you know, and we come across it often in the Masoretic, and then sometimes when we look at the English, what is translated. We can understand generally maybe the better intention and sense of the translator, but it's important for us to study to shoe I and I selves approved. Just to point this out right here at the, at the outset, right, in the introductory appeal that we have in these first two verses of today's daily psalm, the Kaf He Psalm. It's a prayer and a thanksgiving right here. So moving forward with the second verse, KJV reads, Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry to thee. Now, if you listen, I don't say when I cry unto. I, we don't read unto. We don't read. If you choose to, so be it. But un means not, not to. Right? We say to. Right? So it says to thee, I, to thee, I, to thee, I. Will I cry? Will I call out? Will I call out? Eleka yawa, eleka yawa ekra. Sorry, ala te kherasha mimeni, penna te khese mimeni. O ni mashalti, aim your day bor. Shema, call la tachinunai, tachinunai, the call tachinunai. Be shawai leka, be shawai. Am I shouting eleka to the eye? Be shawai eleka. Be nasai ya dai. Be nasai ya dai. When? When? Be in on when at the time? Nasai. Nasi? Nasi? Be nasi? Be nasai. Be nasai ya dai. When I lift up, nasai. Be nasai. In the lifting up, put your hands up. Put your hands up. In the lifting up. Of my hands, ya die. Ella diver, ella diver, ella diver, el diver. To the sanctuary, kad sheka, kad sheka. To the eyes, holy oracle. This is how the KJV brings it out. The KJV with the word oracle really brings it out even better than the Tehillim, English translation column right here. Here they say, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy sanctuary. The oracle is a holy sanctuary, but the word oracle brings out that all word sound power. The word sound power. When I lift up my hands, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy, thy idol, thy set apart oracle. The oracle, Divir, the Dibir, Dibir, as it's Afro-Shemitically would be enunciated, Dibir, 
or devere, devere, it'll devere as we would have in modern enunciation of Hebrew, a lot of day, il devir kadsheka, kadsheka, il devir, il debir, debir, we have davar, davar, the word. Lift up my hand to your oracle. Lift up my hand. This is a gesture of prayer. So when he says, be nasi yadai. So let's look at the sentence, this bait sentence, the second sentence, the second part of the introductory appeal. All right, they say first impressions, right? First impressions, they say matters. Well, first impressions do matter, especially as one is presenting their case in Jagre. So we see the order right here. We see where he says he's calling on he who be, we be on Hashem on Jah to hear. We are calling on him to hear what? The voice of I and I supplication. Tachanunai. 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 Let's just touch on this here in the second verse. Supplications. The voice of the Tachanun. Tachanun, 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 or Tachanun. Some would say Tachanun, Tachanun. Supplication to supplicate. What does this mean? It's an earnest, some say an earnest prayer. It's an entreaty, but it's from this root right here. Hanan, the Hanan. What is Hanan? Hanan is to be gracious, to show favor, to pity, to show favor, to be gracious, to implore, to favor, right? Now, this is interesting. Properly, this word, they say, comes from the idea of to bend, to stoop in kindness, right, to an inferior. So asking the greater, right, to show I and I, right, that favor, right, in other words, in, it's almost like we are in, he's like in that, so he won't be in that pit where he's in a down condition to show favor, to, 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 to bend down and to lift him up, right? In other words, to bend or to stoop in kindness to an inferior. So someone shows you, well, I'm not going to say if someone shows you favor, but that's the context of it. It's almost like the baraka, the blessing, right? The, the, the greater, right? The greater, in that sense, or the better, blesses the one who's lesser, in that sense, right? To implore, that is to move to favor by a petition, to petition. So when we say gracious, be gracious to I, right? To be gracious, right? Show favor, right? Favor, grace. And it's interesting right here because here some people say that um, God does not show favor, he, there's no favoritism. I think what they're confusing is terminologies and ideas and concepts, and no doubt they need to study to shoot themselves approved, right? You know, because you will be ashamed by that. And what we've got to say right here does put a shame to that because it is a shame that ones would say that and yet not really recognize what the testimony says. You know, the testimony basically says that he does show favor, right? He shows favor. But it's not like there's a favoritism in that is and schism sent. He shows favor, right? It says no one is, like, better than anyone else. Well, that's not true. That's not true either. But it's, it's, it's based on what merit. You see what I'm saying? It's based on what is, the, what is the criterion. This is why the first word describing he who be who he be in today's daily psalm, note this right here, is the word sore. Sore is the word rock is the word rock. Why is the rock important? Because it's the foundation. It's the foundation. We have Rovainu speaking on the rock as well. You know, that he who hears the words and do them, he likens to a wise man who builds his house on the rock and the winds and the storm. And remember this psalm, today's daily psalm, a prayer and the thanksgiving, the Kaf Chai psalm, is another psalm that was produced in one of Dawid's episodes Right in this stormy period, right of a stormy life. So it's a stormy episode. So notice that connection right there, just to bring out these ideas. So that even if one only is has, has chewed upon one verse, right, only one verse, right, and it's filled, have to take time. You know, like when you're eating at a table, right, put push your chair from the table for a moment. You know, wipe your mouth, clean your hands, put your you know, just take a moment just to. Digest that word, mawahad, tawahido, to make that word one. See, that's the time of the, the, the silent prayer, just silent prayer, right? To be still in gnosis, all right? So right here in the introductory appeal is a real groundation. Now, here we have in the verse, verse 2, just to move forward with today's daily psalm, brothers and sisters, we have verse 1 and 2, verse 3 to 5, verse 6 to 7, and verse 8 to 9 in today's daily psalm. It's, it's little, right? It's little, but it's talawah. Right, it's, it's tinnish, it's small, right, but it's tillik. But there's a great, there's an important matter here. Even these two verses right here, the sore, 
right? Sought to touch on the word Zor and the word Zor. Like to hear a Mariama today, Woman's Wednesday, and as we had told her and also others, we really look forward to the metaphysics, the whole broadcast, but especially it's like the whole icing on the proverbial cake is with the metaphysics. And in the previous one on dropping jewels and gemstones in the Bible, gemstones in the Bible, a four-part series, right? Got to give an ear, got to hear, 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 right? Give ear and hear again. She brought forward, one of the words she brought forward concerning dropping jewels and gemstones in the Bible, I think in part four, if I'm correct, was the word Zor. Now we find this in KJV, Z-U-R, Z-U-R. Take note, take note, Z-U-R, right? And it says here in the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary, Zor, Hebrew, means rock, stone, acute, something that is acute, something that is sharp, something that is precipitous. A refuge, shelter, protection, founder of a people. The founder of a people is that people's sor, sor. So we say sorry, eleka yawa ekra, sorry, aletech rash mimeni, to the I, O oh, he who be who he be, or oh, Adonai, do I call ekra, my rock, sorry, sorry. Interesting that when we Right, we look right here. I think I saw where was it? My eye had glanced on something. Um, okay, it was down here. We have Zoriel, right? Zori L. The next entry in the Metaphysical Bible Dictionary was is give the interpretation of this meaning. God is my rock. Zori, Zori, Zori L. Whose protection? Zori L is L. Ha L. Hail. Right? Zori L. L Elohim is my defense. El Elohim Ha'el is a refuge. Strength of El Elohim. Then we have Zori, Zuri Shaddai. Zori Shaddai or Zori. Zori Shaddai. Zori Shaddai is Almighty is a rock, but Almighty is my rock. My rock is Shaddai. The Omnipotent is a rock of refuge. All right, just to point out, we have the root word that's contained in today's daily psalm right here in the Masoretic, in the Hebrew, in the Beit verse, in the second verse, where it reads in the translation, it reads in the translation right here, sleek, sleek, in the first verse, first verse, because we're in the first and the second verse here, going from one verse as these two verses all right, the spirit and the truth, even for the auditation, even for the medi upon this, the key word, the key word here is rock. Right, the key word here is rock in the context, right, of the attributes, right, the the midot, the ha midot or the midot, right, so the attributes that Dawi calls he who be who he be, calls him sor, sorry, sorry, right, sorry, my rock, my rock. So we have this here under zor, right? Zor is the English. Of sorry, right? Because that would mean like a T Z T S sort of sound, and usually you don't have that in 1611 translation, transliteration. But still, basically, you know, just a matter of pointing reference and keeping that in mind. So we have Z U R referring to sorry, right? Referring to my rock in the sense of what what might be elsewhere T S U R. T S O O R, like sore, sore, right? Or T Z. It really has like a more like a T Z sound. But here says the father of Colesby, the Medeanitish woman who was slain by Phineas in Numbers 25 and 15. This, the historical Zor, one who had his name, not Sori, not my rock, not I and I rock, but uh, another kind of rock. Let's point this out. He was a king or a prince of Median, and he was killed by the Israelites in the wilderness by Midbar. When they were warring against Median in Numbers 31 and 8, then there is the B, another Zor or Tzor. He's a son of Yael or Jael of Gibeon, a Benjamite in First Chronicles 8 and 30. So what is this meaning of Tzor? Tzor, right? The Tzor and Sori, Sori or Zori, Sori, Zori. Accordingly, metaphysical spiritual, the, the inner meaning of this here, as it even applies here to today's daily psalm, this too being the usage and some of the, you say, secrets of the psalm, so to speak, as we study, right, and growing in grace and in knowledge, faith in the gnosis, be still in gnosis, right, and know this, faith is the zor, 
Zor as referring to the man of Benjamin, 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 rock, refuge, and a very hard, aggressive, besieging, warring thought activity as it pertains to the prince of Median, right? The rock, the stone, rock, stone, precipitous, beset, assailed, besieged. Now we have Zoriel. Note this, Zoriel, because there's three names here that's connected. Now the root is rock. Rock in what context? Here he says, Eleka Yahweh, Eleka Jehovah, Yahweh, right? Ekra, Zori. He says, To thee, he who be who he be, Hashem, I call, I call out, Zori. Right? So as he says, I call out, what does he call out? Zori, my rock, my rock. So Zoriel, El, Ha'el is my rock whose protection is Ha'el, Ha'el is my defense, Ha'el is a refuge, strength of El, Ha'el, son of Abi Hel, <laughs> son of Abi Ha'el, Abi Ha'el, Ha'el, and a prince of Merari Levites, Bamidbar, in the wilderness. This also is in Numbers 3.35. Now, metaphysics, right, in the yeshiva, we can say like in the yeshiva study of it, a realization of El Ha'el Ha'el Elohim, the true good, the true God, the indwelling spirit of truth. This is Mawahai. This is Tawahidah. This is the King's Highway, right? This is the, the, the living faith, right? This is the Haimanot, the realization of El Ha'el Ha'el, the re revelation or the realization. There's a re revelation, but now that revelation must be realized. And Zuriel represents the realization of El Ha'el Elohim, the indwelling spirit of truth, as one's firm, unwavering faith, as one's steadfastness and defense. Ha'el is my rock, Zuri. El is Zuri. El is refuge, Zuri. Strength of El, Zuri, Zuri El. Then we have Zuri Shaddai, which is interesting considering even the Torah portion, right? Here as we are in the second book of Moshe called Exodus, right? And with the Waera, right? And even that revelation at the burning bush concerning El Shaddai, concerning Ushmi, right? Ushmi. My Shaddai, Ushmi, by my name Shaddai, by my name Almighty. So we have Zori, Zori Shaddai. The Almighty is a rock. Shaddai is a sword, or really more correctly, Shaddai is Zori, Zori, my rock. My rock is Shaddai. The omnipotent, all-sufficient supply, Shaddai, is a rock of refuge for I. Sori Shaddai. Now, he's the father of Shalumiel, who was the prince chosen from the tribe of Simeon to stand with Moses and Aaron in numbering the Benai Yisrael, the sons of Israel, in the Midbar, the wilderness of Sinai. Of Sinai. Right? We have Numbers 1 and 6. Now, here's the metaphysics. Like Zuriel, the knowledge or realization, the what? The Gnosis, the Dea, Dea, the Da'at, right? The knowledge, the Gnosis, the Ilkat. Like Zuriel, Suri El, the knowledge or realization of El, Ha El, Ha'el, the power, Elohim, Ha Elohim, as unchanging principle, as unchanging principle, even the first power of the Trinity to be realized as unchanging principle, as one's staying power, one's defense, the sure foundation of one's abiding perfection and oh, and good. The Almighty, Shaddai, is a rock, is my rock. Zori, Zori, my rock is Shaddai. So this connection, brothers and sisters, right here with these first two verses, because in the second verse right here, he says, hear the voice of my supplication. When I cry to the eye, when I lift up my hands, my hands, the lifting up of our hands. So he points out that when he cries to the eye, when he shouts, we touched on that, the bit, shawai, shawai, shawa, shawa, shout, right, to cry, bit, shawai, eleka, bit, shawai, eleka, bit, shawai, when I cry, eleka, to the eye, to sorry, 
Benasai Yadai, Benasai, Nasa, Benasai, Nasi, Nasi, lifting up, Benasi, when I lift up, Benasi, Benasai Yadai, when I lift up my hands, when I lift up my hands, the gesture, we have the gesture of prayer, put your hands up, symbolizing the offering of the heart. So what does it mean when you bend the knee <laughs> for an idol like of another nation's so-called flag or something. What does it mean when you put your uh, hands up, don't shoot? Think about it for a moment. Think about it for a moment. See, there is this spiritual, get it, spiritual Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified. So putting one's hands up, this is the gesture of what? Prayer. Symbolize what? The offering of the heart. Or when somebody puts their hands up, what is that called? Also surrender. One is surrendering. Let us lift up our heart with our hands to the Elohim, the true good, the true God in the heavens, in Lamentation 341. But here, the holy sanctuary, he says, Bin nasi yadai illa devir kadesheka, kadesheka, illa devir kadesheka. When I lift up my hands, Il towards or in the direction of Debir, 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 Kadesheka, Debir, thy holy oracle, the Debir. In the Hebrew, it is more literally to the Debir, D E B I R, usually, you know, as it's brought out, Debir of the sanctuary. So there is the Debir of the sanctuary, which is the innermost part. So we have the sanctuary overall. And then we have the innermost part. This is like the chapel, right? It's like when we say Selassie is the chapel, right? Towards thy, thy, thy oracle, thy, oracle thy, in the innermost of the innermost. Hearken unto the words of Jacob. These are the words of our Father. Oh, oh, Israel. Let me leave. Let Reuben live and never die. I will give praises to the Most High. Let me leave. Let Reuben I never die. I will give praises to the most high. Praises be to the Almighty One. Shall you see where we are going? For our sake, I may do spring for the seeds. Destroy peace and unity. 
Prayer and thanksgiving still. Another Mizmor psalm chant, vocal intonation producing one of the episodes of a stormy life, a stormy liberty. Some commentators refer to the time of Absalom's rebellion, which forms a suitable setting for the first half. The remainder would then have been added when the crisis was over. The introductory appeal right here, these first two verses, superscription, Le Dawid of David, Le David, Le Dawid, Elekah Yahuwah, Ekra, Suri, Alatech Rash Mimeni, Penatech Heshe Mimeni, Wednin Shalti, Aim Your Devor, Shema'ak Ola Tachinunai, Be Shawaiya Elekah, Be Nasiya Dai, Ella Dever Karsheka. Introductory appeal. Introductory appeal. Introductory appeal. To the eye. Man. Oh, he who be, who he be. Eleka. Eleka. Yahuwah. Ekra. Ekra. Do I call. Ekra. Suri. 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 My rock. Sur. The Hebrew. Sur. Suri. We have this in Psalm 18, round about verse 3, verse 2, verse 3. My rock. The rock. Suri. Sorry, alate kharash mimeni. Be thou not deaf. Don't be deaf to me. Alate kharash mimeni. Penate kheshe mimeni. Lest if thou be silent mimeni. Winnim shati. I be like those that 
go down in your day for I become like them that go down to the vor, to the vor, the vor, the vor, the vortex, the vor. Aim your day vor. Be like those that go down to the pit. With nimshalti, with nimshalti, aim your day vor. Shema akol tachinunai be shawai yeleka be nasiya yadai illa dizir kadesheka. Death, as in the English phrase, turn a deaf ear. Don't turn a deaf ear. To I, silent, irresponsive. Don't be irresponsive to my appeal. Pit, the grave. Elohim's silence would mean that he and we and I and I be in disfavor with him, with he who be who we be. And then, although living, he and we would be as though dead. This line repeated in Psalm C X L I I I and seven in Psalm one hundred and forty three. Verse 7 is echoed as the exquisite couplet of Jehuda Halevi, Yehuda Halevi's, when far from the eye I die while yet in life. But if I cling to the eye, I live though I should die. Bringing up this idea right here, the first verse. Eleka, Yahuwah, Ekra, Suri, Aletech Rash Mimen, Penetech Shemimen, Wednim Shalti, Aim Your Day War. Second verse, hear the voice, the vocal of my supplication. Hear the sound, the word, the sound of my supplication, of my beseeching for mercy. Shema ola tachinunai, tachinunai. Hear my tachanun, tachinun, tachinun, tachinunai. Hear the voice of my supplication. The call tachinunai, shema when I cry, when I call out, when I shout, when I shout out to the eye. When I lift up my hands, when I lift up and lifting up my hand, Yadai il devir kadesheka to the eyes, holy set apart sanctuary. The gesture of prayer. Lift up my hands. Bid nasi yadai when I lift up my hands. Bid nasi yadai. The gesture of prayer symbolizing the offering of the heart. Article. Make I and I lift up I and I heart with our hands. I and I hands to Elohim b'shamayim in the heavens. Lamentation three and forty one. Thy holy sanctuary, the vir kadesheka, the vir kadesheka, the vir kadesheka, illa the vir kadesheka, to the devir, to the debir, the debir, here point as debir, illa the beer, illa the vir kadesheka, illa the beer, to the debir, the debir of the sanctuary of thy kadesheka, of the I kadesh, holy. The eye holy place of the eye sanctuary. Speaking of the innermost part, speaking of the holy of holies, of holy, of holy. Nasi Yadai Illa Devir Kadesheka 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 let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. 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 Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. For 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 thee. Let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense. As incense. Before thee as incense. As incense. As incense, as incense, as incense, as incense, as incense, as incense, and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice, the evening sacrifice, the evening sacrifice. <laughs> Al ti mishakeni aim re shaim wa aim po ele aven adov re shalom aim a re ayahem 
ורעה בי הלבבם, תן להם כפה עולם, וכי רוע מעליליהם, כמעשי ידיהם תן להם, השב גמולם להם, כי לא ירינו אלא פי העולותי יחווה, ואלא מעשי ידיו. יהרסם ולא ירנם, draw me, draw not I away, draw me not away with the wicked, with the ratchet. Allah, tia mishakein ya'im rishayim, and with the workers of antiquity wa'im po'ilei aven, who seek peace with their neighbors. Dovrei shalom im re'ayhem, but evil, is in their hearts. Wi'ra'a biya levavam. Give them according to their deeds. Ten lahem ke fa o lam. And according to the evil of their endeavors. Uwakiya ro'a ma elelihen. Give them after the work of their hands. Kuma iseya yidehen. Ten lahem. Render to them their dessert. Hashev gemulam lahem, because they give no heed to the works, to the works of Yahweh, to the works of Jehovah. Ki lo yarinu ella pia uloti Yahweh, nor to the operation of his hand. Wer ella maisei yadayo, he will break them down. Yeher sim, and not build them up. Wer lo yiv name, wer lo yiv name. And will not build them up. Here, the second section of today's daily psalm is Morkaf Chait, the 28th psalm, Psalm XXVIII. Here, verses 3 to 5 May his fate not be that of the wicked, of the ratchet. Al Tima Shakhaini Aima Re Sha'im. Draw I not away. Draw I not away with the wicked. Aim Risha'im, with the Risha'im. Al Tima Shakhaini. Don't draw I away. Allah tima shekheni. Al tima sheke. Ani. Draw ani not. Draw I not away. Allah tima shekheni. Aim rishayim. With the rishayim. With the wicked. More forcibly, in the Hebrew, Allah tima shekheni. Allah tima shekheni. Don't drag. Drag me not away. Like a condemned man to his punishment. The implication is that the guilty will receive their desserts. They're just desserts. So, Alatim Shekhaini, Ima Rishaim, Waima Poile Aven, Le Aven, Le Aven, Le Aven, Le Aven, Le Aven, and with the workers, the workers of iniquity, Waim and with Waim, Waima Poile, the doers, the workers, the habitual doers of Aven, of Aven, 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 Waima Poile Aven, Dovre Shalom. Dovre, the speakers, the talkers, the speakers, Dovre Shalom, the speakers of Shalom, words of Shalom, Dovre, the speakers of Shalom, Aim Ra'ihem, Aim with Ra'ihem, with their neighbors, with their associates, their fellow shepherds, Aim Ra'ihem, with Ra'a, with Ra'a, be a Levavam, be a Levavam, be a Levavam, but evil with Ra'a, with Ra'a, but evil Ra'a, with Ra'a. Be a levabam, be a levabam, but evil is in levabam, is in their hearts. We also have this in Psalm 12, round about verse 3, verse 2, verse 3. Evil is in their hearts. Here, the dilate verse, the fourth verse. Ten lahem, ke pa olam, u ki aroa, ma e lehem. Give them according to, their, according to their deeds and according to the evil, the evil of their endeavors. Give them after the walk, the work of their hands, and according to the work of their hands, say the doings, and as the doings, say yedehem, as doings of yedehem, their hands, tain lahem, tain lahem, give lahem, give to them, tain lahem, hashev gemulam lahem, render to them, return to them, hashev, hashev, hashev. Hashib gemulam alahem, give them their dessert, their reward, gemulam, their gemul, their reward, gemulam, their reward, lahem, to them. 
This is not a vindictive craving for personal revenge. But it's a solemn tefillah prayer that Ha Elohim, the true good, the true God, will openly convict false and wicked and ratchet men by manifesting his righteous judgments upon them and punishing them as they deserve. Here, bringing us to the Hay verse, the fifth verse. Kilo yavinu illa tia ulot yahua we illa ma ese yadayo. Ye herisem we lo yiv name, we lo yib name, because they give no heed to the walks, the works of Yahuwah of Jehovah. Ki lo yavinu, ki lo yabinu, because they don't seek to understand, they don't give any heed, any understanding, any comprehension. Ki lo yavinu, illa ti ulot Yahuwah, to the ti ulot. Piulot, illa piuloti Yahuwah. They give no heed to the works of Jehovah. Piulot Yahweh, Piulot Yahweh, the marvels of the creation, iration, the universe, the universe that should direct the mind of man, the mind of Adam, the mind of humanity, the mind of man to such thoughts as are specified in the eighth psalm of David, the eighth psalm of the Psalter. Kilo Yavinu, Ella Piulot Yahweh, Ve Ella Maise Yado. And no, and to and to the to the doings, right? The doings, the ma ise, the operation. With ill and to ma ise yado yadayo. Actually, the point here is yadayo yadayo. Nor to the operation of yadayo, his hands. Yehersim uloa yibnein. Yehersim uloa yibnein. He will break them down and not build them up. Yeah, her same, he will break them down with law and no yibnein, and not bana bana bana, he will not build them up. The operation of his hand, the operation of his hand, the operation is say, yadayo, a parallel, this is a power here to the works of Jehovah, the piulot, yahua, piulotiowa, the piulotiowa, the works of Jehovah, or his acts of judgment upon the arrogant in the past that should have taught these evil doers humility but he will break them down jeremiah jeremiah 24 and 6 brings out this same idea yehersain 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 he will break them down with law yib name with law yib name and not build not them 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 for with stammering lips and another tongue. For with stammering lips and another tongue. For with stammering lips and 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 stammering Yet they would not hear, 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 would not hear. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohenu, Adonai Echad, Adonai Echad, Adonai Echad, Adonai Echad. Baruki Yahuwa, ki shama'a kola tachinunai, Yahuwa ozi, o magini, bo avatach. Libi when el zarti waya el loza libi we mishiri e hoden yahua alza lam ua maoza ye shuota mia shiho 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 his prayer and I and I to feel heard here 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 mizmor kaf chet the twenty eighth psalm here verses six to seven his prayer heard Yahuwah Shahova Bless be he Bless be he who be who he be Baruch Yahuwah Baruch Yahuwah Baruch Yahuwah Baruch Shahova Bless be he who be who he be Ki Shama Kola Tahanunai because he has heard Ki Shama all the voice, the sound, tachinunai, tachinunai, of my supplication, my beseeching for grace, for mercy, kia shama, kola tachinunai, 
Yahuwah Ozi, O Magini. Jehovah is my strength. Yahuwah Ozi, He is my Ozi, my strength. Ozi, Yahuwah Ozi, O Magini, Magini, and my Magen and my shield. O Magini, Boa Vatach, Boa Batach. In Him, trust us, take confidence. Libi, my heart. Bau in Him, Batach. Libi in him hath my heart trusted or taken confidence. Boa vatach libi. Witne erzati and I am helped. Witne erzati. Witne erzati and I am helped. Waya eloza libi. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices. Waya eloz. Waya eloz. Waya eloz. Greatly libi. My heart greatly rejoices. With Mishiri Ehodenu, and with my song, O Mishiri, and with Mishiri, my song, O Mishiri, and with my song, Ehodenu, Ehodenu, and with my song, I will praise, I will Isis, I will praise, I will praise Him. Blessed be Jehovah, blessed be Yod Hey Wehe Yah Hey Wehe. Baruch Yahuwah, Baruch Yahuwah, Baruch Adonai, Baruch Yahuwah. Elohim be thanked, the true good, the true God be thanked, Cha be thanked. Deliverance, I deliverance has come to him, has come to I and I and we. Baruch Yahuwah, Ki Shama'a Kola Tachinunai. Because he has heard, for he has heard, for having heard, Ki Shama'a Kol the voice, the sound, the kolatachinunai, the sound, the voice of my supplication. Yahuwah Ozi, O Magini. Jehovah is my strength. Yahuwah Ozi, O Magini. And my shield, O Magini. Boa batach libi. Wene ezarti. Waya eloza libi. Wem shiri ehodeinu. In him hath my heart trusteth, have confidence, and I am helped. Wine Ezarti, Wine Ezarti, and I am helped because Bau in him, Batach, Vatach Libi, Batach Libi. In him I trust, I take confidence. Wine Ezarti, and I'm helped. Waya Los Libi, therefore, and greatly rejoicing, Libi, my heart. Where Mishiri Ehodenu and my song, my song Mishiri will praise him. Ehodenu will hoda toda will praise him. Ehodenu, my strength, as in the song at the Yam Suf, at the Etra Bahir, at the Red Sea, the Eritrean Sea. We have this in Exodus, Exodus chapter fifteen, verse two. Yahuwah, Uzi, Uzi. My Uzi, Magini, Magni, and my shield in Psalm 3, round about verse 4. Greatly rejoice. Waya illos, Waya illos, Waya illos, Waya illos. Greatly rejoice. Libi, my heart. The same word translated in Hannah's prayer in 1 Samuel 2 and 1 as exalteth. Exalteth. Same word, exalteth, translated here as greatly rejoices my heart greatly rejoices my heart exalteth waya elos waya elos libi this brings us here to the concluding portion today's daily psalm mizmor kaf chait the 28th psalm psalm xx viii and here in verses 8 and 9 we have the prayer for ha'am the prayer for the people the last thought here is for Ha'am, for the people, for Jah's people's welfare, for Jah's people, Shalom, as we have in Psalm 3. So here, Yahweh Jehovah is a strength to them, and he is a stronghold of salvation to his anointed. Yahuwah Oz Lam Ua Ma Oz Yeshuot. Mishicho Hu Jehovah is a strength to them. Yahuwah Az Lamo Az Strength Lamo 
for them. He who be who he be, Oz, Lamo, is trans, is Oz, Lamo, for them. Ua ma Oz, Yeshuot, and he is a stronghold, a Maoz, a Maoz, O Maoz, a Yeshuot, a stronghold of Yeshua, of Yeshuot, of salvations, of victories. O Maoz, a Yeshuot, Meshicho, who, Meshicho, who, Meshicho, who, to his, his Messiah, he is. Meshicho, who, he is the Messiah, Messiah, to his Messiah, Messiah, he is. Ua ma'oza yeshuota mishicho hu. To them, lamo, he is ours. He is ours. He is strength to them. Some Hebrew MSS's manuscripts, they read, le ammo, le ammo. They read it as not lamo, lamo, but le ammo. They read it as le ammo to his people. Le ammo, az le ammo, az le ammo. He is strength to his people. Although the meaning of them may be gathered, the meaning of them it can be gathered here from the context. Az lamo, mashicho, 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 mashicho. The anointed, his anointed. Speaking of Hamelech, speaking of the Nugus, even Nugus Neges, speaking of the king. David may refer to himself in this indirect manner. After all, Dawid, David was a man after Yahuwah, Jehovah's own heart, and even Yahuwah speaks of himself in the third person and refers to himself in an indirect manner. Dawid may refer to himself in this indirect manner. More probably, the concluding section was added when the Mizmur, the psalm, the chant, the intonation, was adapted for use in ha Hekab, in the temple. Hear, 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 Yahuwah, Aslam. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance and tend, tend them, shepherd them. O re'aim, o re'aim. Tend them and carry them for Iva. We nasaim ad ha olam. Thine inheritance. Nachilateka. O varek. O bareka etta. Nachalateka. 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 The I male's inheritance. And bless thine inheritance. O barek etta. Nachalateka. Thine inheritance. The community. Of Amor Yisrael, the community of Yasharel, the upright of El, the true good, the true God, man who sees the true good, the true God, a people of inheritance, a people of inheritance. Deuteronomy 4 and 20. Hoshi'ah, Hoshi'ah, save Hoshi'ah, Hoshi'ah heta ameka, Hoshi'ah heta ameka, save thy people, uvareka eta nachalateka, and bless, uvarek, and bless eta nachalateka, the eyes inheritance, u re'aim, and tend them, re'aim, u and re'aim, and shepherd them, and shepherd them, u re'aim, and shepherd them, with nasaim, with nasaim, and lift them up and carry them, with nasaim, with nasaim, or aim of in nasim and lift them up and carry them and carry them ad ha aulam until the forever the world without end ha aulam ad ha aulam forever and ever as a shepherd carries tired sheep as a shepherd carries tired and lame sheep may he who be who he be save his people I and I and we bless. His inheritance, I and I and we, tend to them and I and I and we, and carry them, I and I and we, for Iva. Hoshi'ah heta ameka, uva reka eta nachalateka, ur aima win na same, ad ha olam 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 ha
מזמור כ"ח לדוד. אליך אדוני אקרא, צורי אל תחרש ממני, בן תחשה ממני, ונמשלתי עם יורדבור. שמע כל תחנוני בשבעי אליך, ונושאי ידי אל דביר קודשך. אל תמשכני עם רשעים ועם פועלי אבן, דוברי שלום עם רעיהם ורעה בלבבם. תן להם כפעולם וכרוע מעלליהם, כמעשה ידיהם תן להם. השב גמולם להם, כי לא יבינו אל פעולות אדוני ואל מעשה ידיו. יהרסם ולא יבנם. ברוך אדוני, כי שמע כל תחנוני. אדוני עוזי ומגיני, בו ותח ליבי ונעזרתי, ויעלוז ליבי, ומשירי אהודנו. אדוני עוז למו, ומעוז ישועות משיחוהו, הושיע את עמך. וברך את נחלתך, ורעם ונשאם עד העולם. מזמור כ"ח לדוד. אליך אדוני אקרא, אקרא, אקרא. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle. Draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands. Render to them their desert. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord because he hath heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also, and lift them up forever. Psalm 28. Here, 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 Shema Yisrael. Here, 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 Mizmor Chaf Chet. Psalm 28, Psalm XXVIII, Le Dawid of David. Here, 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 we have a prayer and thanksgiving. Still, another Mizmor Psalm, a chant, an intonation produced in one of the episodes of a stormy life, a stormy liberty. Some commentators refer to it as the time, the Iowa. as I and I say, the Iowa of Absalom's rebellion that forms a suitable setting for the first half of today's Mizmor, Mizmor Chaf Chet, Mizmor Kaf Chet. The remainder would then have been added, some say, when the crisis was over. Mizmor Chaf Chet, Mizmor Kaf Chet, Le Dawid. Eleka Yahua Ekra Suri Ala Te Kherash Mimeni Pena Te Kheshe Mimeni We Nima Shalti Aim Your Day Vor To the Eye O Jehovah Do I Call Eleka Yahua Ekra, my rock, 
Ashuri, my rock, be not thou the eye deaf to me. Alate cherash amimeni, lest if thou the eye be silent to me, to I penate cheshe mimeni, I become like them, like them that go down into the pit. We nim shalti im your day bor. A psalm of David, of David, of David, to the I, O Jehovah, do I call. Elekai Yahuwah Ekra. These words are to be considered in the light, the illumination of the verse from Lamentations chapter 3, verse 24. Yahuwah Jehovah is my portion, saith Nafshi. Sayeth my psyche, my soul, sayeth she. The people of Yisrael say, We, I and I, have no portion except in Hakadosh Baruch Hu, in the Holy One. Blessed be He, to whom we say, Yahweh, Jehovah is my portion. And Hakadosh Baruch Hu declares, I have no portion except Amo Yisrael, except the people of Yisrael. As Moshe, as Moses said in Deuteronomy 32 and 9, the portion of Yahuwah of Jehovah is Amo, is his people. Accordingly, when the people of Yisrael, of Yasharel, Amo Yisrael, call to Elohim, the true good, the true God, he hears them. As is said, even here, 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 in Mizmor Kaf Chait. Elekai Hua Ekra, Suri Alatech Rash Mimeni, Penatech Shemimeni, Winim Shaltia, Im Your Day Bor. To the I, O Jehovah, do I call my rock, Suri, be not thou the I death to me. Another another comment on the opening words. Eleka Yawa Ekra to the eye. Eleka Yawa Cha O Chahova. Do I call Ekra Ekra? Draw I not away with the wicked. Draw I not away with the ratchet. Allah tima shekhaini aim rishaim. These words here, here, here are to be considered in the light, in the illumination of the verse, of the verse from Yeshayahu, from Yeshaya, Isaiah, Isaiah 26 and 13. Yahuwah Eloheinu, Jehovah Aina Elohim. Other lords beside the eye wished to have dominion over us, over I and I. Yahweh Eloheinu. Other lords beside the wished to have dominion over we. Be alunu, alunu, be alunu, be alunu. What is the literal meaning of be alunu? Crushed as with a pestle, as in, quote, crush a fool in a mortar with a pestle. Be elu, be ili, be ili, be ili among groats, according to Proverbs 27, 22. But Rav Yehuda, Judah taught in the name of Rav Semai, be alunu is derived from Baal. Baal, 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 husband, Baal, 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 husband. Thus, like a husband, a Baal, who draws Ishto, or Seto, his, or said his wife, to sexual union, so would they draw us, draw I and I, draw we to union with their idols. The end of the verse in Isaiah 26 and 13 even without thee, we make mention of thy name alone. Even without thee, I, we, I and I, make mention of thy, the I name alone, all one. 
This means that the Bnei Yisrael, the sons, the children of Yisrael said, even at a time when thou didst not confer thy name upon us and didst not perform miracles, miracles for us, we hollowed, we set apart Shemekha, the I name, the I male name. Thus, like this, when the wicked, the ratchet, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar ordered us, ordered I and I to worship his idols and to bow before his image, we, I and I, were willing to die rather than disavow thee, the I. And the proof, the verse. The verse, the verse, the verse from Daniel, Daniel chapter 3, verses 16 to 18, that reads, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said, O King Nebuchadnezzar, O King Nebuchadnezzar, if Eloheinu, our Ainai Elohim, whom we, Ainai, serve, is able to deliver us, deliver we, he will deliver we, from the burning, fiery furnace. But if not, be it known to thee, the I, that we, that I and I, will not serve thy gods, thy Elohim. Since they called him king, Melech, even the goose, since they called him Melech, king, why also Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, and if they called him Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, why also Melech? Why also king? This, however, is what they meant by calling him both. As regards the levies, the polls, and the income taxes that thou commandest us, I and I, to pay, we shall call thee Melech, we shall call thee king. But as regards the gods, the Elohim, that thou commandest us to serve, thou and a dog are alike to us. Thus they said, we, I and I, will not serve thy gods, thy Elohim. Whereupon Nebuchadnezzar was filled with fury, as is said in Daniel, Daniel chapter 3, verse 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar filled with fury. Rav Yohanan said, at once Nebuchadnezzar commanded that if the furnace had been heated with one bundle of firewood, it should now be heated with seven bundles. The rabbinat, the rabbis said, at once Nebuchadnezzar commanded that if the furnace had been heated with seven bundles, it should now be heated with 49 bundles, seven times seven. As is said, he spoke and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven times more than it was wont, it was used to be heated. There upon, to hollow, to set apart the name of HaKadosh, Baruch, who, the Holy One, blessed be he, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, threw themselves into the fiery furnace. From what verse did Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah infer that they were to throw away their lives for the hallowing, for the setting apart of Hashem, of the name? They drew the inference from the verse concerning the frogs in Mitzrayim, in Egypt, in Kemet. What is written of the frogs? According to Exodus chapter 7, verse 28, the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly that shall go up and come into thine ovens and into thy dough. Now, when is dough placed near an oven? When the oven is heated, when the oven is hot. Accordingly, this verse proves that frogs came and threw themselves into ovens in order to hollow, to set apart Hashem, the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And how did HaKadosh Baruch Hu reward the frogs? All other frogs in Mitzrayim and Egypt died. As is said in Exodus chapter 8, verse 9, the frogs died out of the houses, 
out of the courts and out of the fields. But the frogs that went into the ovens to fulfill the decree of Hagadosh, Baruch Hu, did not die because they were willing to be burnt. And so the frogs sprang up alive out of the ovens and went back into the river. For it is said in Exodus chapter 8, verse 7, they alone shall remain in the river. Theodos of Rome, Theodos of Rome taught that the inference of Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah was this. Since frogs that do not have the merit of their fathers, their patriarchs, were saved because they offered them their lives, because they offered their lives for the hallowing, the setting apart of Hashem, the name. How much more are we, how much more are I and I obliged to offer our lives, our liberty for the hallowing, the setting apart of Hashem, of the name? We, the children the Benai, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Ya'ikov, we, the children of the Hebrew trinity of patriarchs of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have been given the precept of hallowing, setting apart Hashem, the name, and whom Elohim, the true good, the true God, will reward in full. Palton of Rome, Palton of Rome taught Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, Hanania, Mishael, and Azariah drew the inference from the verse in Devarim, in Deuteronomy, that says, according to Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29, but if from thence, from there, thou wilt seek Yahweh Eloheka, Jehovah, the Elohim, true good, true God, source, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thai soul. The Rebbeinah, the rabbis taught, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah drew the inference from the verse in Yeremiah, in Hermes, in Jeremiah, that says, according to Jeremiah 29 and 13, and ye and y'all shall seek me, seek I, and find me, and find I when ye, when y'all shall search for me, search for I with all your heart. In another Targum, Targum interpretation, the verse is read in Yeshaya, Yeshayahu, Isaiah 26 and 13. But by the eye alone do we make mention of Shemeka, of the eye Shem, the eye male name. What is meant by the words, by thee alone? They mean, quote, in thy presence, in thy face, in thy perception, end quote. That is, we bless the eye and mention Shemeka, the eye name, to the eye alone, all one, and not to any other Elohim, not to any other God. Lidawid, Elekai Yehoah, Ekra, Sori, Ala Tech, Rashmimeni, Pena Tech, Shemimeni, Wenim Shaltia, Im your day war. Shema kolata chenunaya be shawiti be shawi be shawi aleka be nasiya yadaya ella devira kadesheka ala tima shekhini aima risha aima we aima po leaven. Dovre shalom aima re aihem. We ra'a bilav avem. We ra'a bilav avem. To the eye, O Jehovah, do I call. My rock, sorry, be not thou the eye deaf to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down to the pit, to the war, 
the vortex. Hear Shema Kola Tachin Nunai. Hear the voice of my supplication. When I cry, when I shout, when I shout, cry out, shout out to the eye. When I lift up my hands. De Nasaiya Yadai toward thy holy, thy Isla sanctuary, Illa Devira Kadishka, draw I not away with the wicked, with the ratchet, Allah Tima Shekhaini, Aim Rishaim, and with the workers of iniquity, Waim Pole Aven, who speak peace, who speak shalom with their neighbors. Dovre shalom, aim ra'ayhem, but evil with ra'a, but evil but ra'a, with ra'a, bila vavam, bila babam, but evil is in their hearts. Shlomo, Solomon said, Solomon said in Proverbs 16 and 19, better it is to be of a lowly spirit with the humble than to divide the spoil with the proud. Blessed is the man, Ashre Haish, who takes his portion with the humble. Woe to him who takes his portion with the wicked, with the ratchet, the Rishaim, for the Rishaim, for the ratchet, the wicked, take what is theirs and then go out of the world. As it is said in Psalm 37, verse 10 to verse 11, and yet a little while, a little while, and the wicked and the ratchet shall not be, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace, in the abundance of shalom. Thus, like this, Hakadosh Baruchu declared, the wicked, the rishaim, the ratchet, have but a single hour. They eat what is theirs in this world. Then they pass away and go down into Gehenna. They, their retainers, and anyone who had anything to do with them, of the like of them, Scripture says in Yeremiah, in Aramis, in Jeremiah 49, and ten. But I have made Esau, Esau beer. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed, his race is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Hence, here, Dawid, David, David said, I shall not eat of their meal so that I shall not go down into the pit, into the bore, the vortex with them. As it is said, even here, 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 in today's daily psalm, according to the royal order of Ethiopian Hebrews, and here after the order of Malachi, Sedek, Le Dawid, Elekai Yehovah, Ekra, Sorry, I'll take a rush, me many. Then I take a shem, me many. When him shall be, I'm your day war. A psalm of David, the David of David to the Io Jehovah, do I call. And the Kai Jehovah, Ekra, my rock, sorry, be not thou the I death to me. I'll take a rush, me many. Less. If thou be silent to me, penetechemimeni, I become like them that go down into the pit. I'm your day war. Draw me not away with the ratchet, with the wicked, and with the walkers, the workers of iniquity, who speak shalom with their neighbors, but evil is in their hearts. Alatima shakhaini aima rishaima wa aima po le aven. Dovre shalom aima reahem wa ra'a bilavavam. Rav Abba Bara Zerera said, 
even in the shortcomings of the tribes, you discover their worth. For it is said of them in Genesis 37 and 4, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. That is, what was in their hearts was also in their mouths. Of others, however, as of Absalom, it is said, Absalom spoke to Amnon neither, neither good nor bad in Second Samuel 13, 22. That is, what was in Absalom's heart was not in his mouth. Ki alo yavinu, ella pe ulota yahua, we ella ma ese yadayo, ya hersem, we lo evening. Because they give no heed to the works, the works of Jehovah, ki alo yavinu, ella pe ulot yahua, nor to the operation of his hand. He will break them down and not build them up. Because they regard not the works of Jehovah, nor the operation of his hands. Hear, hear, hear. Psalm 28, verse 5. According to Hezekiah, works of Jehovah. Works of Jehovah. Works of Jehovah alludes to calculations of the courses of the stars. According to Rav Yehoshua, Joshua, it alludes to homiletical interpretations of the scripture. According to the Rebbenat, the rabbis, it alludes to the Shema that is preceded by the prayer beginning, quote, who formis light, end quote, and concluding, quote, Blessed art thou, O Jehovah, creator of the luminaries. Operation, operation of his hands. Ma ise yadayo, ma ise yadayo, operation of his hands. This alludes to the, the new moons. Of that, it is said in Genesis Bereshith, Genesis 1 and 16, Elohim made the lesser light to rule the night. And of that, it is also written in Psalm 104 and 19, He operates the moon for seasons. The words, they regard not. The words, they regard not. They give no heed. They give no heed. Ki lo yavinu. Ki lo yabinu. They regard not. This alludes to unbelievers, unbelievers who calculate neither, neither the new moons nor the courses of the stars. He will break them down and not build them up. Yehersem with law evening. Yehersem with law evening. He will break them down and not build them up. That is to say, he will break them down in this world and not build them up in the Olam Haba, in the world to come. Yahweh, Ose, O Magini. Jehovah is my strength, my strength, and my shield. My heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Yahweh, Rav Simeon told a mashal, a misale, a, a parable of a melech, of a king, a negus, who had a single pearl, who had a single pearl, a single pearl. When his son came and said to him, quote, give it to me. 
Hamalek, the king, the Nebus, answered, It is not thine. But when the son wearied him with begging, Hamalek, the king, the Nebus, gave it to his son. Just so, Yisrael, Israel, Yasharel, singing a song at the Yam Suf, at the Red Sea, at the Etarabahir, at the Eritrean Sea, to Hakadosh Baruchu, saying, according to Exodus 15 and 2, may strength, may strength be mine, Yahuwah, Chaz, the song, Jehovah's, the song, entreated him to give them Ha Torah, to give them the instructions, the directions, the teaching of his majesty. Thereupon Elohim, the true good, the true God, said to them, quote, It is not yours. It belongs to those above. But when they wearied him with begging, he gave it to them, as is said in Psalm 29 and 7. Yahweh Jehovah gave strength, strength to Amo, to his people. According to Rav Yohanan, Yisrael, Yasharel, Israel, then said, Let us make I and I repay Elohim, the true good, the true God, with the songs of praise, with the songs of Isis, that he gave us, that he gave we, that he gave I and I. As scripture says, Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise Will I Isis? Will I Isis him? Why ya elos libia? O mishiria ehodenu. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices. Why ya elos libi? And with my song, O mishiri. Will I praise Isis him? Ehoden, Ehoden, why ya los libi? O Mishiri, Ehodenu, Denu, 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 Denu,